I guess my uh, passion for triathlon just stems from needing to be on the road with wind in your face and just feeling the world around you basically. So 2014, the, the year that I was uh, diagnosed, there were uh, quite a few races and um, I just developed this incredibly uh, intense migraine. I, I was diagnosed with this thing called glioblastoma multiforme, uh, which is uh, the scientific term for uh, basically the most aggressive form of brain cancer, or you know the way it's often uh, nicknamed the, the terminator. At some point, the, that tumor could just kind of blow up and almost literally um, destroy my brain as I knew it from uh, you know within my own skull. When I was training as a neurosurgeon in the late 1990s, most neurosurgeons told me I was wasting my time because there was nothing that we could do for patients with brain tumours. That's completely changed. My generation of surgeons have completely changed what we can do for patients with brain tumours. And Visualaze was the next step on that path. Currently, Professor Ashkan and I are the only two neurosurgeons in the United Kingdom doing Visualaze. It allows us to treat tumours that we couldn't treat before and it allows us to access locations of tumours that we couldn't treat before. The first meeting uh, with Professor Ashkan when uh, he first uh, told me about uh, Visualaze uh, almost felt you know, like a little bit of a miracle. Visualaze, this innovative technology for the first time is allowing us to give these patients with deep-seated tumours a surgical option. Accurately using a robot, we can pass this very fine catheter all the way down into the tumor. And once we are in the tumor, we do real-time MRI imaging, so we can check the position of the catheter in the MRI scan. And we can then use a laser to heat up the tumor. We can see on the MRI the temperature map, so we can be sure that we're heating the tumor and not the surrounding brain. So using a very controlled, very measured, real-time MRI targeted, we can essentially burn the tumor and kill the tumor. The incredible thing is that after a night of observation, um, I was discharged uh, the next morning. Um, so I just, you know, walked out of hospital with a single sort of uh, stitch on my head. So having done visualized cases, the patient wakes up as though almost nothing's happened. It's, it's remarkable. So I was back on my bike almost immediately after visualize. It really was life-changing and I don't know that, you know, if I'd be here uh, without having had that surgery.